What's up y'all, Sparta here. Um, what I want to do for this video is I want to compare the OnePlus 6T versus the LG V60. And while I know this isn't necessarily a, an app comparison today because, you know, the OnePlus 8 Pro and 8 are out. <laughs> there are a lot of people that still rock a OnePlus 6T and may still use it to record video and stuff like that. So I do indeed want to compare what I feel is a pretty... um comparable performer in terms of like video because i use it a lot for my channel <laughs> the oneplus 60 to record video i do feel it's a very apt comparison but here's what i'm gonna do so 1080p 60 on both there's no um option to change bitrate or anything like that on the uh oneplus 60 which kind of sucks but from what you guys can tell it looks good. Like, it looks really good, 1080p60. You could zoom in and out. You could zoom in even farther. I'm going to do both of these in auto mode since the OnePlus 60 doesn't have a manual video mode. So, yeah. It's very... How the scene looks from the phone is very reminiscent of how it looks actually in real life. Like, this doesn't look punched up or anything like that like you would see on a Samsung phone or anything like that. And before Samsung Nice come in the comments, I have a Note 10. So, <laughs> and I've had Samsung phones since the Note 3, so you can't really say I'm a Samsung hater there, can you? I'm just speaking from experience. But yeah, um... Overall, it looks really good. A 16 megapixel main shooter, and I think it's, I think it's around the same for the wide angle, or not the wide angle, the telephoto. And what's really nice is that, unlike say the Galaxy Note 10, you go into the telephoto, which is on the bottom, not on the top. When you cover it, it's not gonna go. To, it's not gonna go to the main lens. It's not just gonna pop to the main lens because oh, you can barely see anything. Out of it. You can't see anything at all. So you don't have to worry about it giving you wrong, basically giving you false information, telling you that it's using the telephoto lens and zooming in was really just using the main lens and cropping in like that. So that's a really good thing there. Okay, so LG V60 here, and there's one thing that I need to say when you're auto recording, you know, you don't get the ability to, you know, change the bitrate or anything like that. It just has an automatic, you know, look to it. It has the main, it has the main, um, 64 megapixel sensor that you use to, you know, crop in to do your, you know, zoom in shots and stuff like that. And it looks pretty good. It's not going to look like it's obviously going to look as good as like a separate telephoto lens because it's a bigger sensor and bigger information means that you won't get nearly as much artifacting and stuff like that. So it looks really nice and a nice feature as well. When you're in auto mode, you get to go into the wide angle <laughs> while recording again. Now, when you're in manual mode, you do indeed have to, you know, you do have to record a separate video if you're trying to do manual mode and record in wide angle but to me that's not necessarily a big deal and you don't get the opportunity to record in 60 frames per second in 4k and stuff like that it'll go down to 30 frames per second hopefully next time around lg puts a better wide angle sensor in there so that it can record at 4k 60 and you don't have to do stuff like oh swap between <laughs> like stop one and then record another video in wide angle and then have to you know, clip them together and stuff like that edit them together hopefully they do that next time around but as of right now that's not the case but just like the just like the 6t the scene is very well represented here on pretty much every on pretty much every um every single you know focal length the grass looks as green as it is in real life the sky looks as grayish and some and little bit of yellow from you know the sun as it does in real life it looks really good and that's something that is very nice and something I do indeed appreciate a lot. It doesn't look punched up or anything like that, so that is a really good thing. I do have steady record on here. The um, 
the 6T doesn't have any sort of like, you know, stabilization mode from what I can see. That isn't just like having it default like OIS and stuff like that. I got to double check and look, but when I go to my next clip, I will indeed say if it does or not. So as I go into this next clip here with the 6T, let's get into that there. Yeah, as I said before on the 6T, there's no like stabilization like option to click on or off. So it might just be on auto. Like it just decides to do it automatically, which to me is fine. But what you guys can clearly see is that there's a little bit of jumpiness, obviously, because I'm not using any sort of like gimbal or anything like that to keep this stabilized. So other than that it looks pretty good i'm not seeing anything that's like terrible in terms of like it's not warping or anything like that it's not jumping the image to a terrible effect as say like old lg phones used to do say like v10 where the v10 would have like you know it's kind of jump this jumpy image <laughs> and it looked really weird but yeah phones don't really do that anymore there are some that still do Oh, there goes wind. Every time I decide to record, wind has to come, huh? So, yeah. It looks really nice. I'm not trying to say that this looks bad by any means. I think both put out a quality image, but let me know how the mics sound. Obviously, I gotta look at that after the fact <laughs> while I'm, like, cutting these clips together and stuff like that, so let me know in the comments what that sounds like and stuff like that. But what I want to do now is a, um autofocus bokeh test here not autofocus but tap to focus and overall the um <laughs> the 6t is not staying in focus really it keeps you know taking focus off but the bokeh looks really nice that looks really clean i'm gonna go to the v60 right now and show you guys what it looks like on there Okay, so back on the V60, I tap to focus. Okay, of course, the wind now wants to blow like no other. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay, there we go. Look at how much more creamy that bokeh is. That looks really nice. And I go in a little bit further and it gets a little more shallower. That looks really nice on this 64 megapixel sensor. And what you can do on here, which what you which you can't do on the 60s, you can take a picture while you're recording. So I just took a picture there and it looks really nice. <laughs> it looks really clean. And I'm gonna take a picture separately on the 60 to show you guys how well the bokeh looks on there and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and do that here. Okay, so moving on here. So I just took a couple pictures and what I will say is that while it doesn't have a manual video mode, it does indeed have a manual um, camera photo mode. So you can indeed use that if you want to take pictures. I don't like the carousel like like placement that they have on there. It's kind of weird because it'll just like spin or continual spin around and just go back to what it go back to like the start whereas on the v60 it's like you can choose where it's at and it stops at the very end and you can um go back down and go to a different like setting that sounds really weird but say if you go down to like say a more cooler setting on the white balance or something like that it won't jump back to the top it'll stay it'll stay on that like cooler white balance and if you go up to the warmer right white balance it'll stay on that and not go back to the cooler side of it it's kind of stupid i wish they i hope they change that in future um one plus phones i don't know about if they just don't do it or anything like that because i don't have a few i don't have a seven pro or a eight or eight pro so i can't really tell you guys there sorry about that but uh yeah hopefully 
And also one thing that the uh, V60 does indeed have that the 60 doesn't is that when you're using manual mode and you're like moving the dials, it has haptic feedback on the dials. Whereas on the um, 6T, it just doesn't have that. It's just plain Jane, it'll just go. <laughs> and it's kind of night and day how it helps. And I wish that hopefully, since they are putting more better, they're, 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 God dang it. They're putting better haptic, you know, haptic, you know, engines in their phones now that they can indeed have that in like the eight pro and stuff like that, because it's really night and day how that, how that feels and stuff like that. Like the note 10, for example, it does have that and it feels really nice. It feels really nice to have that sort of thing. And, you know, I just wish that OnePlus could do it too. So, yeah. Apologies for how cool it is out here. Like, I wish it were warmer. Like, in terms of, like, color temperature outside. It's very, like, you know, drab. It's kind of weird because it's kind of been, like, warmer one day, cooler the other day. Rainy one day, super cold the next day. And then hot the next day. It's weird out here in Minnesota. Thankfully, it's not like Canada where it all of a sudden decides to snow. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't do that. But yeah, let me know how the like stabilization here is on the 6T. To me, it looks fine. Like I don't think it's that bad. It would definitely benefit from like a gimbal or something like that. But in turn, when you compare it to like the V60 here it's kind of night and day with that steady record and i just have that on by default now on say my g8 and my v60 because it just helps <laughs> like it feels really nice it when you initially start using it it does feel a bit floaty when you start using it with the camera but right now it looks really nice i go to the wide angle it looks really clean i zoom in on say somebody's car it doesn't look nearly as clean but that's kind of to be expected so and as you guys can see color temperature does indeed change when you switch from one lens to the other that's kind of to be expected basically like nearly basically every phone does that not every you know camera sensor is built the same so you can't really expect it to be this like super identical looking in terms of color temperature and stuff like that because it's just it's that's just how it's gonna happen this is what's gonna happen oh that's not gonna that's not gonna work i might have to clean i might have to clean my lens <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna do one more stabilization test while walking down this hill right here and then we'll just call it for this video. So this is on the this is on the LG V60. I have steady record on. So let's go. And the little jumps you see may just be my hand shifting, so just keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to switch over to the 6T here. On the OnePlus 60, here's how stable it is walking down a hill. Pretty stable, to be honest. It's not, it's not horrendous or anything like that. It's actually pretty, you know, quality. There's nothing I would say is a deal breaker, but it's definitely something that's really nice. So I'm gonna do a little panning shot here. Switch over to the V60. Going to wide angle. Go back to the regular lens. And the jump actually isn't that terrible when you go from like wide angle to regular. When you initially do it, it does indeed it does indeed have that little like flash, but but it's not nearly as bad as say the V20 or even V30 where it would have this like like jump. And the color temperature difference is not that drastic to me personally, where it's like to the point where I'd say not even not usable, but it's noticeable. And you'd have to you'd have to stick in manual mode and 
adjust the color temperature <laughs> while you're recording the video, which, you know, was kind of bad back then, but now it's actually not that terrible. It looks really quality. Like, as you guys can see, the color temperature doesn't change all that much. It, like, gets a little bit, uh, a little bit warmer, like a touch warmer, but it's not to the point where I'd say it's a deal breaker or it's, like, noticeable. <laughs> but, yeah, um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Um, this is part of, thank you guys for watching, thanks for support. This is a very big week in terms of videos. I just decided I wanted to record a bunch of videos while I'm out here by, by my apartment. Since, you know, I screwed. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for the support. I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday, whatever time it is. Here,